Okay, so now we are on the chapter six of Bhagavad Gita, and in the last chapter, um, before Krishna was talking about yoga of action and yoga of knowledge, in the last chapter, Krishna, uh, Arjuna asked, uh, "What should I do?" Then Krishna kind of suggested, "Start with the yoga of action and then move to the yoga of knowledge." Right? Here in the chapter six, he is prescribing a particular method. Right? Here in the chapter six, he is discussing the meditation. Right? How you can attain that knowledge once you are established. in your practice right you can under you can listen from other people you can understand it but how can you you know get yourself established and get that attain that knowledge by yourself with the practice right and so this uh, chapter talks about meditation it is also called a raja yoga because it's direct right you're directly working with the root cause right you're directly working with your mind you're directly um, working with your ignorance so in that sense it's um, also called like more supreme more higher level yoga as compared to other ones right where you indirectly work through it okay <clears throat> so in this chapter so he started with um, um, so he's basically uh, giving the current situation of the mind and like he's telling how you should work through your mind so you can attain that knowledge right and what is the method you should be using so he says uh, arjuna one should lift oneself by one's own effort right one should lift oneself by one's own effort and should not degrade himself right for one's own self is one's friend and one's own self is one's enemy amazing right so he is uh, describing your internal current internal state right he is saying you should lift yourself up or you should lift your mind up in a way right currently you might have uh, uh, you know conditioned in a different ways right currently you will be you might have you might be very attached to the sense object you might you know there there could be so many uh, distortion that might be happening currently in your mind so he's suggesting you should lift yourself up with your own effort right the instructions he has given but that doesn't mean uh, he's saying act from the space of equanimity that we can actually do that right so he's saying practice it he uplift yourself with your own effort and do not let yourself degrade right again what does it what the degradation means is basically you might have some habits or there is actually a pull of you know uh, kind of a pull towards cheap pleasure in a way right and uh, he's saying like stay away from that you know and do not let yourself go in the direction which you know is not good for you right do not let let yourself uh, degrade in fact lift yourself up and then he says for one's own self is one's friend and one's own self is one's enemy right amazing so once uh, you're in a way your inner state right the kind of person you are uh, your mind your thoughts and your emotions if they are aligned with what you want they're kind of your friends right on the other end if you have to struggle with them if they are just running in the absolutely wrong direction if you if they are taking you up in the absolutely wrong direction then they are your own enemy right one's own self is the friend of the self by whom um for him who has conquered himself by the self the self is a friend but for whom who has not conquered himself the self remains hostile like an enemy right same thing he is saying a little bit more clearly like if you have a um, um uh, you know if you have conquered yourself or if you have conquered your mind uh, you would uh, that becomes your biggest friend right imagine like uh, being able to use your mind or being able to use uh, do whatever you want right and your your thoughts and emotions everything is aligned and they are you, you know taking they are going where you want them to go uh, that's kind of self mastery right you have like complete internal self mastery uh the for the person who has conquered himself by the self the self is a friend right then it becomes like your biggest asset or biggest friend right um uh, but on the other hand who has not conquered himself so this is more like a default condition he's talking about right if you haven't conquered yourself uh then the self remain hostile right the self remain the enemy right so you have to be you have to conquer yourself otherwise by default it is uh your enemy why it is enemy because by default it's the nature of the mind to you know run towards the senses and that 
approach itself is a problem that's what he was discussing right because in that way you are going to be dissatisfied there's nothing uh, satisfying it's very fleeting pleasures there but then you also have this strong you know habits and your ignorance and all these things you know they are kind of you know stacks against ourselves right uh, these things are kind of stacked against uh, ourselves and unless we master it he's saying that thing will be hostile right you you won't know like your thoughts and emotion comes automatically but you won't know they are like kind of working against you they are self judgmental they are you know it's, they are depressing they are, it could be so many stuff but until you master it um, it is going to be like that right so he's setting up the stage for meditation in a way right he's saying this is the current uh, scenario where you are in and from here we are moving right and then he suggests then he says like what will be the fruit of the meditation the highest self of him who has conquered himself so the person who has conquered himself is peaceful and the person who has conquered himself and is peaceful is indifferent in the cold heat pleasure, pleasure pain and honor dishonor these kind of stuff right this is uh this is more like a default uh, kind of ugly default conditioning of the mind that we care about this thing we care about this uh, you know honor dishonor and this kind of pleasure pain kind of stuff so the person who has conquered himself is free from these right he is indifferent in these he is not uh, being tormented by these things so that would be the result for the person and then he talks about how you should meditate he gives a, so there could be like how there there is many 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 different med, meditation practices here he gives a very simple straight forward practice and um, you can compare if you are doing any meditation you can compare it with yourself like what exactly are they aligned or they are very different right so he just gave like a basic uh, um, instructions about how to meditate okay so he start with established so he start with uh, establish yourself in a seat uh, in a clean place not too high not too low covered with a cloth right and there's some st other stuff but i think they are more like uh, the customs of that time grass and all these stuff so basically he's saying get a clean place and not too high not too low comfortable and just like make that place your uh, sitting place you know and then direct the mind to a single object with the thoughts and activity of the senses controlled um seating himself on a seat he should practice yoga for the purpose of self purification right basically you are um, just focus on one point he is going to define what exactly all these things are but basically you are doing this for the self purification right so you are not uh, engage too much in the sense related thoughts and all these things you are restraining yourself when these things come you let them go and then you focus on your chosen object and you are doing this practice for self purification right then he say hold the body head or neck body head and neck erect right motionless and steady gazing on the tip of the nose and not looking in other direction right so your your body is completely erect so that you can be alert your back your head your neck is kind of erect your focus is generally people close their eyes in the meditation but here it is saying the gazing on the tip of the gazing at the tip of the nose and not moving your eyes here and there and not looking in other directions right hmm then he is saying with the quieted mind with the quieted mind uh, banishing fears established in the vow of celibacy and controlling the mind and thoughts fixed on me he should sit concentrated and devoted to me so he is saying your focus should ultimately will become uh, your higher self your awareness your sense of being yourself in a sense right and and again he is telling different things so which will pull your attention in different direction for example the fear and established in the celibacy and all these things are basically so that you can uh, stay focused on the chosen uh, object of focus right otherwise these things are keep going to pull your mind so he is saying make a determination about these things and then sit and focus on me on the self right and 
the person who is completely disciplined by himself is constantly practices ultimately feel the supreme peace and the union with me right and for the person who eat too much and who eat too little um, who sleep too much or who sleep too little the yoga is not for that person arjuna right so he's saying be don't go to extreme right i, I think there used to be like very austerity kind of practices in the uh, times in that times right people are going uh, doing like a fast for months or whatever it is here he's saying be moderate be uh, don't go to extreme because that is the whole point is to gain the balance of mind so that you can do this inquiry you can you know you can uh, cut down your ignorance the you might gain this uh, self strength if you, you if a person who is practicing austerity right if you can live um, uh, without food for 30 days or something like this that means you are becoming stronger in terms of your will power right but that is not useful here right he's saying what you need is a balance right what you need is a middle path not too much sleeping not too little sleeping not too much eating not too little eating uh, in a balanced state that would be much better state for you to realize yourself here right the goal here is a self realization a god realization whatever it is yeah for whom uh, who is a uh, ritualistic or who is regulated in the food and recreation and who is disciplined moderate in the sleep and waking and walking Uh, yoga destroys all the self sorrow so here he is making recommendation you should regulate your action you should not be um, emotionally doing things right the person who is regulated about how much food and when i should eat you know there is some basic routines the person who built up the routines about okay when i'm going to do the recreation when i'm going to eat and when i'm going to uh, you know sleep and walk and all these kind of stuff that person can destroy all the self so that person can actually uh, practice the yoga more efficiently right because your mind otherwise your mind has this uh, opportunity to you know distract yourself uh, in different ways so he is basically saying just you know it's it's again it's more like uh, controlling the mind with the intellect you have set uh, the right timing right ritual for everything so that you are free from you know this guessing and these different so mind doesn't have opportunity to plan and plot for these kind of stuff so you are like uh, focused on your job you are focused on um, your meditation and ultimately he is saying like uh, yep so ultimately it is uh, more it is being talked about um, if you continue practicing this you will uh, attain or you will uh, attain the self realization right you will attain uh, the knowledge of self that he was recommending in that chapter before in the in the, and that would be you know uh, the ultimate um, uh, the finality the finality of uh, meditation for your meditation right and once you realize that then that person doesn't really get deluded Uh, by you know different uh, things in the world right so that person is established once you realize this thing once you step once you know with your own experience this is myself and this is how things are this is what the nature of reality uh, that person is content that person has achieved the final goal again according to bhagavad gita and uh, he is not going to get deluded on the by the you know mundane or by the normal you know pulls of the mind and different objects in the world yeah okay